So this next question is for you, Chanel. Um, working as treasurer for student organizations and being a representative on the JFC, you've had the opportunity to work with Budget Tracker on both sides. What changes, if any, do you think need to be made to the system? I think from seeing it as a JFC point of view, I definitely believe that as a JFC rep, I should be able to see the previous budgets of my organizations, which is currently not possible. Well, not, that's not entirely true. I can see the last fiscal year, but I'd like to be able to see the fiscal years before that so I can see where the problems are underneath, underneath within their budgets, if they're having problems sustaining themselves, which is something that I think is really effective, will be really helpful to make sure we're allocating the funds correctly. And as a treasurer, I've definitely seen a great improvement in just the fiscal, the JFC process overall compared to last year, last year in comparison to this year. Okay. So this next question is addressed to you. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is important to change the application process for JFC? Do you think the introduction of an interview process will deter students from applying? Okay, so um, no, I do not think it would deter students from applying. Otherwise, you know, I would not have made this change. Um, so the reason I feel like it needs to be changed, well not changed, really improved on, um, is because we lost two members this year. Mm -hmm. um, if I could, I will end their other members with less than good attendance records. Um, and if I were able to interview some of the candidates, you know, for the JFC, I would really be able to tell, well, I'd be able to get to know them as a person to see, you know, if I could work with them better um, and if they would really have the dedication needed to put uh, towards the JFC. Okay. So um, this next question is the last question for the both of you. So um, after this, it's going to be audience questions. So I guess get ready to come down and talk into the mic. Um, so. With all the behind-the-scenes decisions happening on a case-by-case -case basis with student organizations, like debt forgiveness, for example, where do you seek transparency in the midst of confidential financial information? So I think it was Eric who said it last time, so I guess Chanel can go. Regarding confidentiality, I think that I should, we should respect the groups for their fiscal troubles that they're having. I don't think that we should put them on the spot and say so and so has been two thousand dollars in debt but i also think that if we're going to be forgiving those organizations we should be holding them more accountable and being able to guarantee that they're not going to fall back into that same debt that they had the year before okay okay um so for me it really depends on where this debt came from um so to put this in perspective the money the jfc pool comes from the student activities fee so i really see that there are two kinds of debt one is debt from you know from mismanaging your funds, and another is debt from you know maybe having great luck one year. So say for example, I'm on the board for Awareness of Roots in Chinese Culture, and we hold this free dumpling night every um, every fall. And every year, within an hour or two, even though we increase the amount of dumplings we buy um, or the materials for people to make, we tend to run out within a year and our event is uh, within an hour, and our event is about two three hours long. Um, so you know if an organization goes into debt because they're doing really well. A lot of people are attending their events because they could, say, bring Stephen Chu in as a speaker. Um, I think that would be very good for us to forgive it, forgive them uh, of their debts. But say if some organization X had an $8,000 formal and only had $2,000 in their budget and was you know $6,000 under after not having spent their money on other activities that were in their JFC, um, budget, line item in their JFC budget, um, I think that there should be some repercussions such as probation. And um, currently, there's not really teeth to bite into organizations with. You know, we do put them on probation, but I'd really like to see, you know, maybe more, um, more strict or more repercussions for organizations who do mismanage their funds, because this really is um, taking away from other students' experiences. Um, this, is, this is taking away from money. Um, that we could have allocated towards other activities that um, for organizations who did manage their money well and who did provide a good service to the school. Thank you.